it's time. It's time to compare World War 2 multiplayer versus Black Ops 3. So I thought it'd be good to take these two most popular COD multiplayers from the past few years, put them head to head, compare them to see which is the best, and yes, we will do this for zombies in a separate video. Now we sort of did this in some of the videos when I was talking about why Treyarch make the best Call of Duties and the most popular CODs, but I thought we should go more in detail and do an actual video just dedicated to this. So I, I guess we should just jump into this meme and, and do this thing. So, number one, Black Ops 3 is more polished. Now, obviously, Black Ops 3 is two years old, so it will be more polished, but, I mean, just check this out from the game that I was recording earlier. Like, bro, what, 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 what even? We'll never get answers to this question. So, yeah, I get it. Every COD is going to have problems like that, but COD World War 2 has been one of the most broken CODs and one of the most slowly fixed. Uh, um, we'll forget about Modern Warfare 2, so yeah, Michael Condry just hasn't been fixing the problems fast enough. Well, I I'm just putting the blame on him apparently, but every time Sledgehammer tries to fix stuff in this game, they just break even more, but we can't pretend that Black Ops 3 was perfect, but it just wasn't this broken. So number two, apart from being polished, this thing is the most important thing in my mind, the maps. You know, every match, everything you're going to do in a COD game, in multiplayer, is going to be in a map. So, obviously, maps need to be good, right? And it's crazy to think that Modern Warfare 3, without any DLC, almost, almost, has double the maps of COD World War 2. Like, the normal maps, not the war maps. Nine multiplayer maps is a joke, and, and not a very funny one. So, so far we have been pretty negative on COD World War 2, but don't worry, I'm not a hater, I do love this game. I've played it more than Black Ops 3, actually, um, we'll pretend you never heard that, but just more on maps. So if we compare some of the best maps from World War 2, and just look at them compared to some of the best maps from Black Ops 3, I just think Black Ops 3, and I think a lot of people agree with me here, Black Ops 3 has the better map design, so it has more maps, it has better maps, obviously, that's a huge tick in, in the favour of Black Ops 3, that just makes it more fun. But anyway, let's switch gears and look at what World War 2 did better. So number 3, it's quite a big thing, supply drops. It's unfortunately a big thing. So I think it's fair to say that Black Ops 3 had a, a tragic supply drop system. That's even an understatement. And World War 2 just does it so much better for collections, the way you get for weapons. I just hope that it doesn't become oversaturated. You know, Black Ops 3 was more DLC than actual game in the end. And... Which is World War II system simply is so much better. Black Ops 3 supply drop system is honestly what ruined the game for me. So, uh, nice one, nice one, Condry. So, number four is War and HQ. I think I'm addicted to war mode. Someone please send help. But anyway, these two ideas are just pretty damn good, right? They both add a lot to the game, and I think they're going to come in every COD now because they're just great ideas. You know, you can see people sliding around on their butts in HQ, that's probably the best thing that this game does. However, there actually is a downside to war. So, I think it's a great mode, however, Sledgehammer were like, I know, let's make war maps replace normal multiplayer maps in DLC and the actual game, and like we've seen, right, nine multiplayer maps, that's not good. So, I'd love if Treyarch's next game has war mode, and imagine war mode if it was in Black Ops 3, but just, please don't make it replace multiplayer maps. I could honestly see them doing that. I could see it from now on, Call of Duty only comes with nine maps. It's a tragedy, but I could totally see it. And then another thing that World War II definitely has in its favour is the setting, right? We all know this. I think people prefer the boots on the ground, World War II and or modern setting compared to pink dabbing robots, you know, flying 500 miles above the map, you know, giving us a beautiful dab as they go. Just, I, 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 think, I think World War II is better in that aspect. So to end off this video that was both serious and had a few memes slid in there, I would say that I can see why people love Black Ops 3. I can see why people don't like Black Ops 3. I can see why people love World War 2. I see why people hate World War 2. However, I'd say personally, I like World War 2 just a tiny little bit better. And that's just because of war mode and the setting, right? Apart from that, I'd say Black Ops 3 is probably the overall best game. It's just because of those two things, I prefer World War 2 a little bit. So, what about you guys? So, of course, we will be doing this for zombies as well. So, you know, stay tuned for that video and whatnot. So, uh, yeah, I think we can all agree that um, Black Ops Declassified on the PSP is, is a, great, a great game.